Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Host Client Monitor as part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're logging in directly to the host client here using the IP address of the ESXi server itself. And we're going to go straight to host monitor. So the first thing we can see here is the performance tab showing how the machine is performing and it defaults to CPU. Uh, we're going to use default colors and we're going to look at the last hour because that's all you can do in the host client if you want anything more than the last hour uh, you need to use vCenter server so we've just change that to high contrast colors and this is where it will tell us that uh, if we want any more than the last hour statistics we should use vCenter server or maybe vROPS if you realize operations um, when I hover over a period on the on the chart um, it breaks it down into physical CPUs or CPU cores and depending on where you hover on it will tell you um, how busy different um, cores and different processors were during that. So I'm just going to make a little bit more room here. And what you can see is um, here are all the processor cores and packages as we call them. So this is the host in its entirety, the individual cores, and we've got things like packages which is the CPU package itself and then individual VMs. I can also view it by VMs running, so this one is a folding at home appliance that's absolutely hammering CPU. So I'm looking at it now from the, the viewpoint of that particular VM. I've got my uh, vCenter server on here as well, so again we can kind of look at it from different points of view. Again we've still got high contrast colours and we're still looking at the um, the last hour. But I can do this again for memory. So we can look at memory usage over the last hour. Again, if I want to, I can pick individual VMs. Or maybe all the VMs. And then we'll do the same again for network. You can do this for all VMs. If you hover over the graph, you can see each individual VM NIC and the statistics for each one. And we can do the same thing again for storage and disk. You can see each SSD or NFS mount and the uh, usage of it. Also see things like latency figures here too. Now as this is a um, essentially a workstation used as a server, I don't have any um, sensors on the motherboard, I don't have things like IPMI or any advanced storage subsystem, so in my instance this one is empty. Um, here I can have a look at any system events. Pick, put slightly more per page, and then I can expand it out. We've also got tasks, so any of the tasks that have gone on, you can see me doing the um, auto starts there from a previous video and changing power policy. We can also see logs. And if I want, I can search in here. So if I search for CPU or get, you can see it highlights on the screen anything that's got that, that word or that phrase in it. And there's also generator support bundle. And if you look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can see that it's packaged up all those logs into a tar gzip file and is now downloading it um, to my local machine. So I'll, I'll be able to send that log bundle off to VMware support, GSS, global support services, if they'd ask me for a log bundle for this virtual machine. That's just a simple way of getting the logs um, off a host uh, for support purposes. 
and then any other notifications so you can see there it's just downloading now this is a log bundle for um, troubleshooting and diagnosing problems this is something you might be asked for by support um, if they're troubleshooting a problem for you That takes us to the end of the monitor section. So this was host client monitor as part of the vSphere 7 home lab series. Um, thank you for your time and I hope you found that useful.